Hey everyone, Angie Smith here. Thank you for watching and welcome back to my channel. So I have um, two Scentsy Clubs. I typically do a monthly club to get um, restocks, definitely the Whiff Box. And then I do a quarterly club, which is my Always Get My Bar Club. So I have my quarterly club that hit um, this month in October. And then I'm gonna unbox the Whiff Box here at the end um, so you can stay um, spoiler free and I'll let you know when that's going to come up if you are holding off on finding out what that is so let's just jump in and look at all of the bars that I have uh, so first up is beach this is um most of these bars are not available anymore. I'd say all of them are. So we won't even go through that. Uh, beach is just, a, but I will sniff them. This is a scent. It's gorgeous. It is, I think it's got papaya. It's a little bit powdery. Super strong performer. Love that scent. Beach. Um, I did go through before this order and I didn't film it, so I apologize, but, um, I made big cuts to my club to get it down to a size that I want. Um, so all of these scents I'm going to absolutely love because like I said, I did do huge cuts. Love and happiness. This is like love and happiness. It's like a chestnut with a body care like type scent. It's fantastic. Finding I love chestnut and wax. Inhale, exhale. One of my all time favorites. Um, definitely keeping this in the club because not many people like this scent. And I don't think it would return ever again. It is so fresh. Like when you inhale, it's like taking this like Fresh, really fresh air scent. And it's just gorgeous. It's It's got melon in it, I think. It's just a beautiful... Um, and I love how this is blue. All my older ones are turning like a greenish color. That's a fresh bar. There must be some other people in the club who have this because, um, yeah, I think this is a newer one. So I'm happy for that. Camu Camu. This is just, to me, it's like a, I know they say it's a Camu fruit, but it reminds me of like melons, like cantaloupe and just a gorgeous summer scent it um mixes well with so many scents i love it looney tunes this is super strong it is very fruity it's like a really sweet apple juice type scent just and like i said it is it's a powerhouse scent it is super strong and I love it. Looney Tunes. Painted Leaves. This is basically just like um, this time of year, you're driving. To me, this is what I picture. You're driving or you're walking, doing a hike in the woods and it's rained and you have like all the colored leaves that have started to fall. And you're like walking over them. And they don't smell like they've been on the ground long, but they've got that fall, rainy type smell on the leaves. That's exactly what this smells like. It is a powerhouse. I love it. Ooh, cherry almond pie. This scent is amazing. And you know what? It's like cherry. And then it's like a pine note, but it kind of reminds me of like pistachios. 
So it's almost like a cherry pistachio. Mm -hmm. And it is super strong, not super long lasting, but it, um, it's when it's going, it is fantastic. This is a scent that I like to put on in my um, open concept when I'm going to sit down and watch maybe a movie or some TV shows at night. And then I pop this in and this is going the whole time I'm in the living room just to enjoy this. And it is fantastic. Cherry almond pie. It does have a scent memory. I When I got this in the first, like when it was back in the Bring Back My Bars, it was close to like Christmas Eve. And in, in Cantu, Canto, uh, my son loved that movie. And it was just released on Disney+. Plus, and so it was Christmas Eve. So I popped that in the warmer. We sit down and watch that movie together. And it was, um, that will be a scent memory for me that I created myself. Cucumber Lime. This scent is, it's, um, it's like fresh, fresh cucumbers, fresh lime, no sugar in this. It's gonna, it's gonna be cucumber, straight up cucumber, straight up lime, so fresh, and it's a powerhouse. Love that scent. Jumpin' Jelly Bean. I tried Scentsy for the first time um, back in like 2010, it was, maybe it was like 2012. Um, somebody at my work had like was selling it and a jelly, jumping jelly bean and blueberry cheesecake were the two bars that I purchased and these were phenomenal. And then I didn't get reintroduced to Scentsy until 2020, like during the pandemic. And I was super sad that this scent was not in the catalog. And I didn't understand how Scentsy worked. I love this. It's like a sweet pear jelly bean. It reminds me of like the um, Jelly Belly pear, like the pear one. But this is a powerhouse. And then um, what happened like that. So this was not in the catalog. Super sad. Didn't understand that like Scentsy like took away scents and stuff. Um, but this was the scent I associated with Scentsy. Because they still had blueberry cheesecake in the catalog. And um, that Easter they came out with the three bar collection. Which was. Um, I think uh, like a banana, was a banana berry maybe, um, toasted marshmallow and jumping jelly bean. And I, I think it was toasted marshmallow, but I threw jumping jelly bean so fast into my club and it is staying. Um, this is definitely a nostalgic since he sent for me and it is a powerhouse. Love that. All right, um, lemon coconut chiffon. So this is definitely a lemon scent. It's a little bit of bakery. Something with that chiffon is like this just sweet. Oh, it's gorgeous. Good performer. And there goes my bar. At least it didn't damage. But um, love that lemon scent. I have a few lemon scents in here. Uh, vanilla Waves. I don't even know that I need to talk about that. It is salted caramel vanilla goodness. Sea salt. Oh, fantastic. Plum and White Woods. This is just a gorgeous, like, perfumey. I just, like, punched that in my face. Perfumey. It's... A sweet plum. I do like plum and wax. Um, and it's pr the it's gorgeous. Love it. All right. White out is just like a nice like peppermint, but it also has like a little twinge of like Christmas. It reminds me of those 
ribbon, those peppermint ribbon candies. This is what this reminds me of. So good. Blackberry orange marmalade. Um, so this is just as it sounds. It smells like a sweet orange marmalade, which you know is like a sweet orange jelly. And then you get like that blackberry with it and it's just like a sweet, it's super strong. It's just sweet, love it. I like to mix Camu Camu with that one as well. Atlantic Air. This is just a nice aquatic ocean type scent. Just gorgeous. I have to smell all of these. These are like my favorite bars. Watermelon Patch. This just smells like a Jolly Rancher candy watermelon. It's fantastic. And my son loves watermelon. I do too, but um, so he approves of this bar. Maple Vanilla Glaze. This was one I thought might return in the catalog. This is from last year's holiday collection. It's like a maple donut. It's fantastic. I love it. Was my one of my favorites from last year. Rainbow Red. This is just like a it's got like watermelon, cherries, strawberries, like it's so good. It's just like a nice berry scent and it's powerhouse. Most of these scents are all going to be powerhouses too. Let me tell you, uh, this is vitamin M. This is like a spa, like lavender type scent. I love this. It is, it's, it's very, like I said, lavender spa like it's not sweet lavender it's it's one of the strongest lavender scents and i love mixing like vanilla waves with it to give it like that sweetness but it is so good on its own so vitamin m here's the toasted marshmallow i mentioned earlier it's just like marshmallow toasted on a fire it's kind of one of the bases that a lot of vendors and even since like a lot of waxes use toasted marshmallow so this is like a base scent great mixer Hemingway I think when I dropped that wax bar it did kind of break a little Hemingway is like a it's a good fall scent It's almost like a smoky, a little bit smoky, like an apple woodsy type scent. Really good. Hemingway. But not like a sweet, like more like a smoked apple. Joy and Wonder. I thought about dropping this for my club, but I don't know if that I can. It's so good. It's like a current, I think I just need to use up a majority of my bars this year. It's so good and it's a good performer. It's um hard to describe. I know it's got like current, it's a little woodsy, long lasting, good fragrance scent. Make a splash. This is just like a nice, it's got melons, it's aquatic, mm, it's good, it's a, it's a good strong one, very summer. Bonfire Beach, Bonfire Beach has like that um, toasted marshmallow and then it's like a flint. It's very similar to... Um, is it mahogany teakwood? Is that the one I'm thinking of from Bath and Body Works? But um, it's a really good performer. 
and I mix it with toasted marshmallow just to bring out some more of that. Skinny dipping. The, talk about powerhouses. This is like, it is, it's so good. It's got like apples, I think pears, melons. And it's, it just reminds me of like a tropical fruity drink sitting on the beach. It's fantastic with mixed with some suntan lotion. Just gorgeous, skinny dipping. Velvet spun sugar. This is one that's kind of been on the chopping block for me, but I enjoy it. It's like a, like a cotton candy type of scent, but it's more like a, like it's like, it's got the violets, but it's like a, it's hard to describe. It's so good. This is the one that won out of all of those scents last year for me. Um, I think it's just because it's more unique than the others, but Violet Spun Sugar, Snow White, um, Kind Heart. This scent is just gorgeous to me. It's like apple blossoms and some floral. Love it. And it's a powerhouse. Ooh, here's my Harry Potter Wit and Wisdom. Uh, this is like a, like a leather, leather le le like an old leather book. This is what it reminds me of. It's so good. It's so good to add it to other scents and mix it up. I love doing like the leather with the sweet, like a vanilla waves or a maple vanilla glaze. Uh, cocoa lime. This is pretty much just like it sounds. It's coconut, sweet coconut and lime. So it's like a really sweet lime. It's not the fresh lime like in um, cucumber lime. It's a sweet lime and it's a powerhouse. Like I said, all of these are going to be powerhouses to me. They are strong scents, and that's why they are in my club. I think the only two that's not as strong maybe would be the Velvet Spun Sugar. Oh, sparkling yellow. Love this. It's like um, grapefruit, lemon, like lemonade. And then it's got like a sparkle, like a, almost like a, you put like some Sprite or something. So good. Getting down to the bottom. A peeling apple. This is a really good apple. I'm so glad this returned. It was a scent of the month and then it was gone for like a, a year or two and they brought it back. So it's almost like the peels of the apple, the apple, I think it's got some pear in it. It's just a really good apple scent. All right, three more. I'm gonna throw that over there. I have pineapple dragon fruit. That's almost like it has that sparkling yellow mixed with some like pineapple, like some dragon fruit. And I know pineapples and like the sparkling yellow, but um, it's really good for summer. Pineapple, coconut, vanilla. This does not smell like pineapple, coconut, or vanilla. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. It's like a fig. It's like a sweet fig and I love it. It's so good. It's just unique. Um, this is one that I have very few bars of and I wish I had more. And then last but not least is apple s'mores, which smells like um, a smoky apple marshmallow sweet goodness. And I feel like this is one of the older ones because it's in the old packaging. 
and it doesn't have the um, it doesn't have on the bottom the whole scent family. So this is one of the older bars before they changed. See the new ones have the families underneath. So disappointed in this. I wanted a newer one. I have a ton of the older ones, let me tell you. All right, um, that's everything in my quarterly club. And then I am going to um, unbox the whiff box. So if you don't want to be spoiler free or you've already seen the whiff box and you don't care to see my whiff box, by all means, thank you for watching. But let's jump into this. All right, um, if you're unfamiliar with what a whiff box is, it is Scentsy's version of the monthly mystery box that a lot of companies do these days. Let me move this box back so I can have a table. And so um, I typically add this to my Scentsy Club because if you spend $60, you get a half price item. So then I get this for half price and it makes it even better. There's always like way more than, um, I think it's like 30 five dollars now but there's always the retail value is way more than what the 35 dollars is but then to get it at half price um, you're getting a way better deal so here's a sneak peek with that um, this is the whiff box that it comes in um, I do use my whiff boxes reuse them I either reuse them for gifts I reuse them um, to store wax bars um, so I do try to recycle Inside the whiff box, this is kind of bent up, but um, you get a little flyer. They used to come with almost like a fold out, but I like these little ones way better. Um, it says the busiest time of the year is just around the corner. We've included an early dose of holiday cheer in your October whiff box, and you'll be even more excited for the festivities to come with a special surprise this month. It's never too soon to get ready for the holidays. So, um, I have, there's all kinds of spoiler sites out there, um, which kind of helps sometimes if you want to, you know, if you want to keep the whiff box as your half price or change it. But um, this one is full of goodies. There's um, stuff from the like holiday collection. And then there's a special surprise that you can't even purchase by itself. So let's jump in and we're going to go through everything that's in here. Um, so Arctic Kiss, which I love this scent, they released a laundry for the holiday collection and the washer whiffs. And you get like this holiday brochure that's in here as well. So it shows you everything that's in the collection. But um, Arctic Kiss is Arctic Mint Fresh Air and Vanilla Clouds. And it is an amazing scent. I'm super excited to have the washer whiffs, and I hope, oh, so good. It smells um, just like the wax. It does have a little bit of the a laundry twist to this, though. So, I'm um, looking forward to trying this out with my clothes. I was kind of unsure about buying the whole laundry. I have a ton of laundry stuff anyways, but... Um, if this performs, well, I hope this is something they bring back in the catalog. Um, so I'm super excited for these washer whiffs. You can mix your washer whiffs. The washer whiffs is where you get your scent. It's just like scent beads. Um, you can do it, like if you use, like say, just regular laundry, like even like a unscented laundry detergent, and then do your washer with the washer whiffs with it to um, scent boost. Um, you can do that. You don't have to buy the whole like Scentsy laundry. All right. Um, there's also this eucalyptus wreath hand soap. I do like the Scentsy hand soap and I can always use more of that. Plus they also make good gifts. That's one thing about the whiff box. Like if you don't necessarily always like what's in it or you have too much of something, you can always gift it. Um, so eucalyptus wreath. Which is a scent in the current catalog. It is fresh eucalyptus, juniper, 
frosted mint, and I should have read that. The scent notes are actually on the packaging, uh, but just a nice hand soap. And those are come, it comes in a three pack bundle, so you can't even buy that by itself. So with the whiff box, you're getting just the one. And this is the exclusive item in the whiff box. It's a Scentsy Buddy Clip. It is called Holly the Hippopotamus, and she is scented in Perfect Peppermint. Love this. It's a peppermint. Let's pull her out. Look how cute she is. Aw, she's super cute. And she's got the little scentsy, just like on the buddies, but a mini version. And then the nice thing is you get this like a clip. So like you could put it on a purse, a bag. You could hang it in your car. You could um, hang it on, you know, a kid could do it on their backpack. I don't know. Um, I usually don't keep these for myself, but they make good Christmas gifts. So again, I love the Woof Box because I get lots of little items too. If I'm not going to use it, I can re-gift it. So um, that's the exclusive. And then there's three wax bars in here. Sometimes we get a sample of the um, scent of the month for next month. But this time we're getting a whole bar. So the scent is meant to be merry. And I don't have the scent notes on me handy, but I believe it's almost like a mint and sugar cookie. And that's exactly what it smells like. It is so good. I am a mint girl. It is. It's like the, I have a Bath and Body Works candle that's um, peppermint and sugar cookie. And that's exactly what this smells like. Ooh, I can't wait to, I can have those candles and then this going in the warmers. That's meant to be Mary. Um, this is the November scent of the month. So that'll be available November 1st. Or if you get the whiff box, you can have a bar. And then um, Cherry's Jubilee, which was part of the holiday collection. This is um, very similar, very similar to like, is it red berry pie, which was the scent of the month. It's like cherries, and then it's um, it's like almost got a pie note with this. This cherry's real strong on the bottom, so very nice. It's a decent performer. And then rum pum plum. So this is just like plum, but it's like a tart plum. And then it's to me, it's got like a coconut, like pastry with it. No, almost like a coconut macaroon pastry with the tart plum. It's not a sweet plum. So that's really nice too. I've um, already had those bars with my holiday collection. So, but I'm super excited for the meant to be merry. So real quick, um, let's calculate the value of this box. Some of it I'm gonna guess because it um, it's not available for purchase, but I can just go off of what um, they typically go for in the catalog. Let me grab a catalog real quick. So the Arctic Kiss Washer Whiffs is not sold individually. It, you have to buy it in the in a laundry collection in the holiday pack, but in the catalog, you can buy um, those 12 ounce washer whiffs. Actually, they're 16 ounce. I keep calling them 12. So it's a 16 ounce washer whiff. Yeah, 16 ounces for $12. So I'm just gonna give it a $12 value. And then the buddy clip. The Harry Potter one is 20. This isn't, again, this is an exclusive item. It's not sold individually. So I'm just gonna give it a value, I guess, of. $20, maybe 18 
There might be a buddy clip in the holiday. Gretchen the gingerbread bear. She's cute. Um, she's in the holiday collection. I'm just going to go with 20. And then the eucalyptus wreath is, like I said, it's sold as a three pack. So you cannot buy that individually. But, um, oh, I found the buddy, regular buddy clips are like 18. So maybe I'll deduct two off to stay with that. But the hand soaps are nine. So we'll just give it a value of nine. So I'm going to take two off of that seven to take two off of the buddy. And then um, what do we get? We got three wax bars. So um, they're six a piece. We'll just call it 18. Yeah, $57. That's your retail value of this whiff box. Um, at half price, it's an, at, at regular price, it's a good deal. So you're getting like, what is it? 37 to 35, 22, $22 more than what you paid for it. But if you do it for half price in your Scentsy Club, that's an even bigger like amazing deal. So um, I'm happy, very happy with this month's Whiff Box. So thanks guys. Um, tell me, let me know what you thought of uh, the Whiff Box. Um, and I will see you. Sorry, I'm trying to get the howling in there. I'll see you on my next video. Thanks guys for watching.